Welcome to our cosmic journey. Today we'll explore the incredible variety of stars in our universe. Let's dive into the stellar wonders that light up our night sky. Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered about the stars twinkling above? Stars are not just beautiful points of light, they are the fundamental building blocks of the universe, shaping galaxies and giving birth to planets, including our own Earth. In this video, we'll embark on a fascinating journey through the cosmos to explore every type of star in the universe. So sit back, relax, and join us as we unravel the mysteries of the stars. Let's start with protostars. These are the very first stage in the life of a star. Imagine a giant cloud of gas and dust in space. Over time, gravity pulls this cloud together, making it shrink and get hotter. This creates a protostar, which is like a baby star. Inside the protostar, temperatures and pressures keep rising. When it gets hot enough, nuclear fusion begins. This is the process where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing a lot of energy. This energy makes the protostar shine brightly, marking the birth of a new star. Protostars are usually found in nebulae, which are vast clouds of gas and dust. One famous example is the Orion Nebula, where many new stars are being born right now. So, a protostar is basically a star in its earliest stage, getting ready to start its long life in the universe. Red giants are a stage in the life cycle of a star. They form when a star uses up all the hydrogen in its core. This causes the core to shrink and get hotter while the outer layers expand, making the star much bigger and cooler in temperature compared to its earlier phase. Red giants look reddish and are very large, often hundreds of times the size of the sun. In this stage, helium starts to fuse in the core, creating heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Famous red giants include Betelgeuse in the constellation Orion and Aldebaran in Taurus. These stars are close to the end of their lives and will eventually shed their outer layers, leaving a dense core that becomes a white dwarf. Studying red giants helps astronomers understand how stars evolve and the future of our own sun, which will become a red giant in about 5 billion years. White Dwarfs White dwarfs are very small, dense stars. They are what is left when a star like our sun uses all its fuel. When this happens, the star loses its outer layers and only a hot core remains. This core is called a white dwarf. White dwarfs are about the size of Earth, but they are very heavy. A small piece of a white dwarf would weigh a lot on Earth. They do not make new energy. Instead, they shine because they are still hot from before. Over a long time, they cool down and become dim. A famous white dwarf is Sirius B, which is part of the Sirius star system. Our sun will also become a white dwarf in about 5 billion years. Studying white dwarfs helps scientists understand how stars change and end their lives. These stars are incredibly dense, packing a mass comparable to the sun into a volume roughly the size of Earth. This density means that if you were to pick up a small piece of a white dwarf, it would weigh thousands or even millions of times more than the same amount of material on Earth. Neutron stars Neutron stars are very small, dense stars. They form when a massive star explodes in a supernova. During this explosion, the star's core collapses under its own gravity, squeezing protons and electrons together to form neutrons. This creates an incredibly dense ball of neutrons, hence the name neutron star. Neutron stars are extremely dense, packing more mass than our sun into a sphere about the size of a city. Because they are so dense, a teaspoonful of material from a neutron star would weigh billions of tons on Earth. These stars also spin very fast, sometimes hundreds of times per second. This rapid spinning and strong magnetic fields make neutron stars emit beams of radiation, which can be detected by telescopes on Earth. These are called pulsars. Neutron stars are important for studying extreme physics and the universe's most energetic events. They also help scientists understand how matter behaves under extreme conditions, which can't be recreated on Earth. Brown dwarfs Brown dwarfs are celestial objects that are larger than planets but smaller than stars. They form similarly to stars from collapsing gas and dust clouds, but they lack enough mass to sustain nuclear fusion like stars do. 
as a result, brown dwarfs are often called failed stars. These objects are dim and difficult to detect because they emit very little light compared to stars. Their temperatures range from about 300 to 1500 degrees Celsius, making them cooler than stars but hotter than planets like Jupiter. Brown dwarfs are important to astronomers because they bridge the gap between planets and stars, helping us understand how objects form and evolve in space. They also provide insights into the distribution of mass in the universe and contribute to our understanding of stellar evolution and formation processes. Exotic stars Exotic stars are unusual celestial objects that differ from typical stars like our Sun. These stars have unique properties that make them intriguing to scientists. One type of exotic star is the neutron star, formed from the remnants of massive stars after a supernova explosion. Neutron stars are incredibly dense, packing more mass than our Sun into a sphere the size of a city. Another exotic type is the black hole, formed when a massive star collapses under its own gravity, creating a region where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. Black holes Black holes are mysterious and fascinating objects in space. They form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity after running out of fuel. This collapse creates a region where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. This region is called the event horizon and it marks the boundary of a black hole. Black holes come in different sizes. Stellar black holes form from the remains of massive stars and can be several times more massive than our Sun. Supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies can be millions or even billions of times more massive than the Sun. Despite their name, black holes are not holes in space but rather extremely dense concentrations of matter. Anything that crosses the event horizon of a black hole is pulled in and cannot escape. Black holes play a crucial role in shaping galaxies and the universe. They help scientists understand gravity, space and time in extreme conditions. Star clusters Star clusters are groups of stars that are close together in space and are bound together by gravity. There are two main types of star clusters, open clusters and globular clusters. Open clusters are younger and contain up to a few thousand stars. They are often found in the spiral arms of galaxies like our Milky Way. These clusters are loosely held together and their stars are relatively spread out. Globular clusters, on the other hand, are much older and can contain hundreds of thousands or even millions of stars. They are found in the halo around galaxies, including our Milky Way. Globular clusters are tightly packed, with stars orbiting closely together around a common center. Star clusters are important for astronomers because they provide valuable information about stellar evolution and the history of galaxies. Conclusion Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Your support helps us create more fascinating content for you.